Benchmade 51 overview, more like a four day test review if anything. I, I didn't really want to go too in depth with this because I haven't had it for a long enough time yet and just really my first impressions without it being too virgin about it. This is my first ballad song, uh, other than this knockoff little trainer that cost me 12 bucks, tapes there just for aesthetic purposes. But I do have tape on this right now only because getting used to the weight of this knife is a little bit different. The trainer weighs about double the Benchmade and it's more dense as well. Seeing as the Benchmade is also just bigger in size, you have a little bit more weight to go around. So it's like a feather, it's really like a feather in comparison to, to that. So I put the tape there, which I'll take off so you can see the, the blade. So I put the tape there so I don't get cut as I have already gotten cut a couple times. And I also poked myself over here on the finger. A few things to note about the Benchmades, at least also probably with any ballast song, but I didn't notice it with the Benchmade 51 and definitely a lot of other people have as well is that when you do get the knife you're going to want to lock tight the pivot screws which i did they are very loose and they back out very easily when you start flipping them but once you put the loctite in i put blue loctite in there it's i've been flipping this very very often for the past four days now and it has not gotten loose at all there's some play but that's normal play i mean it hasn't gotten any worse than that I just checked right before I started the video to see if they had to get any tighter if they were loose and they did not budge at all. They were just solid. So that's just probably breaking. And it has broken in because pushing in the locking lever is a lot smoother and a lot easier now than before. But it is still tight when it is in the closed position. And it still springs out. Nice little spring latch. Love it. I, love, I just love that feeling. The spring latch doesn't come all the way forward into the knife. You're not going to have any issues with that. It can lock though, however, on the other side, which can sometimes get in the way. I have not noticed really the pocket clip getting in the way too much. However, I only do the Zen rollover. That's the only trick I really know how to do, aside from opening and closing it in the traditional sense as well. I have not really felt this to really impede the uh, motion or impede the trick. However, the only thing that does, like I said, impede any trick that you do is the fact that this is a lightweight knife. It's something where around three ounces. So it doesn't seem like it's that light, but if you did, if you do handle a heavier ballast song, uh, the weight difference is astonishing, at least to me. It, it, it really changes the feel of the knife. And I was having a lot of trouble flipping this, even though I do flip with a trainer, I was having some trouble flipping this and I was getting cut more than I thought I should have on a trick that I'm pretty proficient at and that's because just the feel of the knife was different and as soon as I put the tape on it gave me a little bit more confidence knowing that I won't get cut and I was able to really uh, make my movements a lot more fluidic when doing the tricks. It is a very smooth knife but because it is light you have to put more energy into it to get the blade and the handles moving just like that it, it wouldn't just go if I did that on the trainer be no problem so excuse my noobishness but I only have had this for about three days so hopefully in about a month when I have more use with this and maybe learn a new trick or two I'll come back and I'll be doing it more like that so let's get that orange tape off. I was going to take it off anyway. And I found out that if you are going to put any tape on the battle song, put it on a sandwich style. Because I tried a few different methods. I tried wrapping around. I tried doing just one uh, piece of tape on each side, uh, overlapping them a little bit. And that just turned out to be too thick on the overlaps and especially near the tip and it, especially up on the spine of the knife uh, where the blade is actually thicker because this is a hollow grind or at least I think it's a hollow grind I might be wrong but since the edge 
tapers down from the actual spine of the blade. There's more material here and more material on the blade means less material that you could put on uh, the blade. So that, does, so that wouldn't interfere with the handles. So I found out that the best way to do it is just put tape on this side, kind of like in a V pattern when you lay it down. So that way you have the clearance that you need. Check that out. So when you do put it on, it would be, you have your piece of tape, just lay it down flat against the edge, and just fold it over. And you just gotta get a little bit creative with the, with the tip. When you do tape your valve song, remember the tip will puncture. I got hit right here today. It's not that bad, but it does draw blood. Let's clean that blade off. Just some rubbing alcohol. You don't need anything fancy. There'll probably be some gunk on the on the actual edge itself, but I'm not gonna worry about that too much. So black blade, I got the black blade because I don't want my little fingerprints all over the uh, stainless finish. As nice as the stainless finish does look, I do kind of, however, like the black out blacked out look of the BK uh, designation. Just the contrast between the blue and the black and the stainless screws, it, it just looks real nice. Not that I didn't like the stainless blade. I did like it when I did see it, but it's hot here and, I, and my hands are getting really clammy. And if I touch that blade, it's gonna, it's gonna show more than it does on the black. It's not a glossy uh, black finish. It's, it's kind of matte and you can feel it. It has some texture to it. Uh, the blade is D2. Hardness on that is about 58, 59, but D2 is a very strong blade, very strong steel. I did see a video of a guy who has this knife. Um, he was actually batoning with it. He was chopping wood with a battle song and that was really amazing to me. It just shows how strong this knife is and shows how strong Benchmades are. Of course he did that with the blade actually locked in place as such. Ergonomics, just a feel of it. Um, the G10 does have a peculiar feel. It feels kind of dry. I don't know how to really describe it. I haven't felt anything like that before. I mean, I have blades that have G10 handles, but I just haven't felt G10 like this before. It's a smoother G10. It's kind of a matte finish. There isn't really any stippling on it. It has a good sound noise to it. And it just feels dry when you handle it unless you have clammy hands at, at the moment it kind of feels like you have chalk on your hands when it's dry and you hold it not that anything is coming off not that any texture is coming off of the blade just that blue though especially under sunlight that blue is just gorgeous I really do want to put like a little blue line right here on both sides. That'd be really cool as well. I did also lock tight Zen pins. And did I lock tight these? No, just the pivots and Zen pins. I believe you can take the clip off. I just believe you take these two screws off and pop it off, put the rivets back on, and put the screws back. I haven't tried it. I'm missing anything else on this blade I haven't talked about. I'm just going to talk about it, other than it's really sharp. I mean, it's still hair shaving sharp. Which is greatly appreciated. <laughs> What else? What else? What else? It's just a really fun battle song to play with. If, if, if it's going to be your first battle song, um, 
just remember if you have been practicing on a trainer that the weight and the feel is going to be completely different so get some electrical tape and get a color that you like i picked orange as you saw and just tape the edge make sure you get the tip nice and practice with that until you get comfortable with the weight and the feel of the blade before you start flipping it with a live edge because you will cut yourself and i you know i cut myself on the knuckle the side and i was trying to do another flipping trick and cut myself right here so almost cut myself right here too you can kind of see it got red I don't know what else to say about the knife. I mean, for 260 bucks, it's a great deal. It's great quality. Uh, Benchmates have a great warranty as well, from what I've heard. Uh, hopefully, I don't have to test out the warranty, and everything seems to be holding up real nice. It feels great in the hand, and it, it, it doesn't feel too much like a toy. That's what I was trying to get at. That's, that's what I forgot. Um, when you are holding it, it feels... It doesn't feel like a toy. It doesn't feel flimsy just because it's light and has thin G10 scales. Not that that's really that thin either. Uh, and it has titanium, so this is a very light blade, but it feels great in the hand. This offers kind of like a thumb rest for you, and you can really choke up on it as well if you need to, but it just has a real solid feel to it on pretty much any grip. It just really locks your hand in. has a good length to it at least to me you get the smaller one the benchmade 32 morpho i like bigger blades but it's just a great feeling knife i mean for everyday carry if it's legal in your area this is definitely a great everyday carry knife the blade is thin enough to where you could do pretty much any work you need to do with it uh, strong enough that it's going to handle as much abuse as you want to give it i mean hell the guy batoned with it he chopped wood with this knife so and the blade didn't break and the action, action if you will, didn't get any weaker. There was no additional blade play from what I, uh, from what I saw. As long as you lock tight those in, and that's pretty much all I have to say about the Benchmade uh, 51 right now. Um, definitely going to play with it a lot more. Hopefully, learn new tricks with it. I mean, for me, learning these more complicated tricks, I just can't get them. Uh, there's a lot of good tutorials online, but I just really needed step-by-step slow-mo for me to really get it. The Zen rollovers are pretty easy once, I mean, there was one reviewer who was uh, showcasing the Zen rollover, and it was uh, it was really detailed and good step-by-step, -step, but I don't know if he has any other detailed directions on any other tricks. I'm going to have to go back and take a look but this was, I really love the Zen Rollover. When I first learned it, it was just a joy. I was like so excited. Other uses on the knife, obviously, any bow song owner would know you could use this as a window breaker, the tang, easily. Just that spring latch again. Just so much fun to do. Bell songs, fidget spinners for grown-ups. <laughs>